guys, welcome back to my channel. I filmed this video three times. This is my third time. So if it doesn't work this time, I'm going to give up because third time's a charm. I've done a shoe closet review before on my channel and that video seemed to be doing really well. And I thought it was really fun to film the video. Also, I did it when I first started my channel. It's been two years since I started YouTube. And of course, since I started, um, my shoe closet has grown a lot. So I just thought it'd be really fun to do my five favorite shoes. Five is a pretty solid number, so that's why I just chose five. But um, I definitely have some more favorite shoes. But for this video, I will start with five. And that's really all there is to it, so let's get into the video. Also, before we start, I just want to start off with a little disclaimer. I am in no way, shape, or form trying to like brag or like look, oh, look at the shoes I have. My first shoe, these are the Nike Air Force Ones. They are a little different from the regular white ones. I got these ones from Nordstrom's. And they're almost like a little platform and they have like a different um, little design here and on this side as well. And a lot of people are like, is that a tag on your shoe? And it is. I personally like the look of the tag, but everyone has their own different opinion. These are really comfortable. These are my go-to sho shoes, not only because they're white, but also because they're really comfortable and they give me the height. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting these. I think right now Nordstrom's, they're sold out. When they come back in stock, highly recommend getting them. And they also have a different color and vi varieties of these these are my go-to favorite top favorite top shoes my next pair of shoes that i'm going to be talking about i can't reach are again nike air force ones by the way nike air force ones are my top favorite shoe because of like just the look of it and how they look on me but this is in a color that you're not used to seeing it's almost like a tan brown color and what drove me to these shoes were i don't know if you can well you can probably see Around it says the Nike all around the shoe and I just thought that was really cool and different um, These shoes again are really comfortable. They're not really much platform as the other ones But they still give you a little bit of a boost in height That's with all Nike Air Force ones and these ones came with two different laces They came with these and then they also came with laces that look like this that say Nike on it I just kept it on this one because I just thought it looked more of a simpler gave it a, gave it a more simpler look and it just makes it easier to style with outfits. These I don't wear as much because it's kind of harder to style them with outfits, maybe with an all jean look or a all white look. Um, but still, these are one of my top favorite shoes because they are Air Force Ones and I got these also at Nordstrom's. To no surprise, my next shoe I will be talking about are Nike Air Force Ones. These ones, these ones are pretty simple looking except for the fact that they have the gold and they also have it in the back. And in the front and gold is one of my favorite colors so of course i had to buy these ones these ones again are really comfortable got these also at nordstrom's majority of my shoes i got at nordstrom's because who doesn't love nordstrom's but these ones were i got them this year i think early january and i've worn them a couple times only because i'm kind of scared to wear them because they're just such a pretty shoe and then after i wear them like i clean them right away i think they're still in stock they have this one and then they have a red one with the gold. White's just a really classic and clean color, so that's why I just got these ones. But highly recommend getting these if they're still in stock, but I love these so much. Just The next shoe I'm going to be talking about are not Air Force ones, so it's a little different. They're the Coma de Garçon Comber High Tops. These ones are a classic. Um, I don't wear these as much because personally, it's really hard for me to style high tops because of my height but I still wear these occasionally with a dress or a skirt. These ones are really, really comfortable, more comfortable than regular Converse. I wore these to Disneyland, I believe, and my feet weren't hurting. Um, these ones I also got at Nordstrom's, and these run true to size. Oh, I don't know if I said that for the other ones. All the Nike ones are true to size, so I'm a size seven and I got a size seven. These ones are size, these ones are size seven, so they also run true to size. They only have the heart on one side and then they have a stripe and then nothing on this side. Um, these ones I got back in 2018, I believe. It was like a back to school. I think I showed them in a back to school. But these are just a classic. And I like how they're almost like an off-white beige color. I think that's really, really pretty. And I think Converse are one of the popular things that for 2020 summer, these are the popular shoe. So if you want to get some Converse but a little bit different, then highly recommend the Coma de Garçons. Or they also have the low tops as well. But... 
Also, really quick before I talk about my next shoe, all of the shoes I've talked about, I forgot to mention as well that they're all really, really easy to clean. I use the Crep Protect shoe scrub and I clean them. Well, every time I wear my shoe, I come home and I clean them with um, makeup remover or sometimes rubbing alcohol just to like make sure the, the stains don't set in. But at the end of each month, the shoes that I've worn, I clean them with the Crep Protect just to keep them fresh and looking nice. But all of them are super easy to clean, um, especially the Air Force Ones. But with that being said, my last shoe I will be talking about are the Yeezy Wave Runners. These are my newest addition to my shoe family. Um, I have been hesitant for the longest time on buying Yeezys, not only because like I just didn't see what the big deal was, but of course when I tried Yeezys on for the first time, I was like, okay, they they're actually really comfortable for the price. They remind me a lot of Ultra Boost. So if you've ever tried Ultra Boost, they're basically the same thing, but all, but obviously a different design. These ones give you a little bit of height, which is always a plus for me. And as you can see on the bottom, they have like the the same foam that the Ultra Boost do. But yeah, I, I was so hesitant for the longest time. I'm like, I'm never gonna get Yeezys. I don't like how the other like normal Yeezys look, but these ones are just like, really cool and different and they almost remind me of like the dad shoe so yes they're very very comfortable i might be doing a video testing um if these are perfect for working out so stay tuned for that but overall these ones are just such a great shoe and i highly recommend getting them if you can get your hands on them i know they run really expensive so i'm very grateful um to have gotten these like always i'm going to be ending with a quote and today's quote is to wear dreams on one's feet is to begin to give reality to one's dreams and that is by roger vivier i hope you got some inspiration on some new shoes maybe you're looking to buy for this summer i highly recommend checking out nordstrom's that's my favorite place to buy some shoes and they always have free shipping and their customer service is always amazing before we end i just want to give a shoot a huge shout out to all of my parents and my cousins my aunts and uncles who buy me shoes i'm very grateful for you guys and i will forever be grateful so thank you guys so so much because you guys are the reasons why my love for shoes is so great so thank you guys again so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye